Hi there, this is a quick tip for how to change the order in which scripts are run. This is very important when you have one script that needs to execute before another one. So let's see a simple scenario where this is needed. So in here I have two scripts with mono behaviors, the game handler and the money display. The game handler is just on an empty game object, and the money display is on this UI window which contains a text to display the current money. So here in the code on the game handler on awake, we initialize a string variable and then we tell the money display to update its text. Here on the money display we have a static function which is what we're using from the game handler and it simply sets the money text.text .text to be our new string. So this is very simple, we only have the game handler calling this function which is updating the text with a new string. So let's run the code and see what happens. And upon running the code, we have an error right here, a null reference exception, which if we click, we can see that the null reference is on our instance. This is giving us a null reference exception because the instance is currently null. And the instance is null because we are calling this function before this script has had a chance to execute its awake. So the fix for that is very simple. We go into edit onto our project settings and then our script execution order. And in here, we can set the order in which the scripts are run. So I can go in here and I want the money display to run before the game handler. So I can simply drag the script and put it above the default time. The scripts run from top to bottom. So that means the money display will run before the default time for all the other scripts. If you don't set anything specific, then Unity won't decide for itself, which may cause an error like we saw since we need money display to execute before game handler. And if we don't drag it, then Unity won't decide for itself what happens during the default time. So by doing this, we are making sure the money display executes before the game handle. So now let's run the code. And yep, there it is. It correctly updated to say money 100. So we now have first the money display being run, which executes its awake, sets the instance, and then the game handler executes its awake, which tells the money display to execute, which now it already has an instance. And that's it. Hope you found this tip useful. All right, see you next time.